In CleanSky 2, we develop technologies closer to air framers' needs. All future CleanSky 2 engines will have a large slow fan. The larger the fan, the lower fuel burn consumption, but the harder aircraft integration. We study different concepts with and without nacelle. UHBR ID, BPF, USF, all are hybrid fuel electricity. We also study new fuels. It is only with a combination of these three pillars, aging efficiency, hybridization, and sustainable fuels, we will cut by two CO2 emissions in 2050 and respect ATEC commitments. All these concepts have common technologies. We develop in CleanSky2 to be ready whatever our framers need. Booster is a small compressor at the front of the engine between fan and HP compressor. It turns at the same speed than LP turbine, here one and a half times faster than LEAP. It must be light, compact, and able to adapt itself to different air conditions. That's why it has variable stators, which is something new for boosters. Booster is designed by Safran Aero Booster. It was tested with success in 2018. Low pressure turbine is at the rear of the engine and also runs faster as it is linked to the booster. Its role is to give the power of the engine to the fan at the front. Running faster means for turbines a better efficiency. The other benefit is to divide by two the number of stages so mass is reduced for the same function and it is also good for fuel consumption. Low pressure turbine is designed by Safran aircraft engines and one is not running here in our Villarge plant. Different configurations will be tested until 2021. Reduction gearbox transmits power from low pressure turbine to fan and reduces fan speed. All the engine power goes through this module. Reduction ratio is more than 3.5. This is really a key technology. Reduction gearbox is designed by Safran Transmission System. It was successfully tested for the first time in 2019 and tests of robustness will continue until beginning of 2021. We expect with these new components to have common technology bricks for future engines. Gains in fuel burn and CO2 will depend on ability of air framers to install large fan engines. The best option is still an underkit fan. We estimate it can save more than 20% CO2 emissions. Next step is common works with Airbus to define the best architecture for the next generation of short-medium range. Airbus will announce beginning of 2022 the best couple engine aircraft to cut CO2 emissions. We and our partners will then design the selected engine with a target to test it at the end of Blue Sky 2. These three technologies will be on our future engine. Entry into service depends on airframer strategy between 2030 and 2035.